say that one more time. Oh, I'm good. All right. Anyways, I was hoping that Taylor would be able to serenade us in tonight, but I guess I'm severely disappointed. <laughs> severely. All right. Hey, y'all. It's Channing and Garrel. Hi. Splitting lemons. And, oh, she didn't even light the incense for tonight. But let me explain to y'all what we have tonight. You guys already know we got the triangle, Illuminati triangle. We've got the dancing man. He's not in the middle today, but that's all right. Got a little... He's only dancing if he's on the side. He if right he's look... in the middle, he's like... Summoning. <laughs> <laughs> we got the little fidget box that Haley is going to let me borrow tonight so I don't fucking spin shit around and flip things over like I usually do. Incense, you know, the little, crisp, the little, little salt dude. Um, over there in that circle is my dying plant. I haven't Aww. watered it. I know my mom got it for me for Christmas and like I water it when I can remember, but I'm really not all that good with plants. Um, and then I got Jesus and then I got the white candle and, and then Pristian. So because you love plants. I love plants. I really, really do. And like for the most part, I'm really good with keeping up with them. But if it's like a small little dude, I'll forget. Like he was actually hanging on my wall. And I did not remember he was there. And then one day I was like, oh, bitch, you look crunchy. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, Taylor. Oh, yeah. You guys, tonight we're going to start off a little bit differently. We're going to start off with the new shits. But first, how are y'all doing tonight? I hope, or now, time's not real. Um, hope y'all are doing well. So, uh, yeah. And you, if you guys have any, like, suggestions or, like, you like the way we do things or, like, Maybe you think that we should do it differently. Um, let us know in the comments. We are open to mm-hmm. criticism. As, well, as long I as mean, it's kind, right, like, right. I, if it's to me, an extent, <laughs> we don't want to cry over y'all. I mean, we do it, but you know, in a positive way. But if you cry, I'm a first. I'm a dislike the comment. I'm a block <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm not going to delete the video, but I might put it on private for a day. Oh, my I'm God. Cry. Y'all, look, I'm sensitive to criticism. Look at my birth chart. You'll know. But <laughs> 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 All right. Um, also, real quick, we want to dedicate this episode to our darling child, Aquasha's brother. So um, love you, and we hope that your family is doing well. So let's start off the night with the new shits. Yeah. So... BP Rainia is making a comeback, right? Yes, yes. But once again, Alex mm. th- isn't like a she's part got- of it. Like <gasps> she's in the song, but she she's not no. in the choreo. There was some article that was like she basically just goes and stands in a corner, which is I fucking- saw a picture of it. They were literally doing choreo, and she was literally standing in the side with her fucking hands neck. It was so sad. I was like, "This is fucking awkward." And then they was like, "Yeah, she," because you know, for a long time she was in America. I think for like a while, mm-hmm. and they were like, "What is she doing in America? Shouldn't she be re- getting ready with her group?" But I don't remember what the reason why she why she was there but i do remember hold the, on i got oh, the shit really got the shits and they didn't even send her the choreo stuff yeah i uh, was pissed when i saw that so people in general are mad at their um at the company mm-hmm. um because of the of how alex is being treated actually fans are boycotting mm-hmm. um too. so Me they're too. not they're refusing to watch the music video mm-hmm. they're not going to stream or buy the music and they're talking right. about they're not going to give them any more money. And that's awesome. a- apparently, like, you know, it's to the point, like, if they disband, then they disband. Like, they feel that strongly about it, that it's not fair that she's being right. treated this way. Um, so here's some of the things that uh, the company has done in regards to Alex. Mm-hmm. Um, they didn't give her a Korean teacher. Like, they don't have somebody mm-hmm. teaching her Korean she, and apparently it was also with another member who's no longer with the group, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, they haven't given Alex the correct visa to even be in Korea. What the fuck? Yeah. So How she, long has it been? It's been like two years now, right? Yeah. And she, so basically she has to leave. Like she can't be there longer than 90 yeah. days at a time. So mm-hmm. she's like constantly having to go back to America. She can't fucking stay there. Oh my God. Um, yeah. What the fuck, nigga? How is she in a whole group and she can't be... All right, that's <laughs> messy. Also, um, like the choreographer purposely didn't put her in the choreo. What? But they didn't, but they oh, didn't no. like okay. do anything. They weren't like, hey, 
put this girl in the choreo. They were just like, okay. That's so fucking shit. And you, okay, go on, go on, because I'm and getting then, pissed. <laughs> and then they also said, which you already said, that they didn't send Alex the choreo while she was mm-hmm. in the U.S. And they said that they didn't even give her a plane ticket until a few days what? ago. Yeah. Oh, my God. And that she's been in the U.S. since February. What the fuck? Yeah. Nigga, since February? Mm -hmm. That's a whole lifetime. What? Are you serious? Wow. And see, you know, somebody was like, the reason that they even added her in was because they can say, yeah, we have a black member. Oh, yeah. And so they can get attention for him. People Mm -hmm. want to pay attention to Rainy again. And I'm like, that's so shitty of them to fucking use her like that. Like, you give this girl a hopes and everything that she's going to do this, that, and the other. And then you got to just fucking drop And people were like, like you know, I guess they thought that she was just going to be like, you know, just a gimmick, basically. But then they were like, they didn't count on her actually wanting to stay. What? Like, Bitch, what kind of... Oh, my God. Oh, God. Look, I'm pissed. <laughs> she deserves so much better. And I'm... Sh- oh, my God. Baby girl, look. <laughs> if you want Alex, you can join TK3. TK3A. Oh, right now, he's so cute. I would love it. Oh, my she, God. Oh, my God. She's beautiful. Hello? She's so beautiful, and she's so sweet, and she's funny, and she's so optimistic, and she works so goddamn hard to get nothing but scraps. Y'all, please give she Alex love. She be on people's love. YouTube channels. You know, Miss Yeah, Mina O. Yeah, mm-hmm. she be fucking with her, eating. I'm like, look, y'all, how, like, how are you a company, and you're, fu- I, oh, my God. I'm getting <laughs> pissed. I'm so <laughs> getting so pissed. You know what we can do? Go sign up with Sangri, honey. I'm sure he can get you a fucking <laughs> yeah. visa. He has 37 fucking jobs. He can set you he up He can get nice you house. with one. Look. <laughs> you and you sell? won't be standing in the corner. How about that? You want to sell fucking retail? What do you want to do? He's got like a company. <laughs> do you want to sell fucking waffles? Waffles? Speaking of pancakes or waffles. You already know pancakes i'm sorry i love the winning team look <laughs> waffles are great and all but sometimes they be too thick and sometimes they like dry if they're too thick so i'm like pancakes like you can't really go wrong with exactly pancakes. and this is the crazy thing right i like how we jump but yes it makes sense <laughs> the segues <laughs> the segues right? um like, so i was at work and i was like i don't know how it came up but i was like pancakes or waffles and jaleesa said waffles and uh, i said no here's why you're wrong <laughs> <laughs> hi mom <laughs> And I was like, because when you got to put the butter on the shit, then it gets stuck in the fucking waffle craters. Right. You got to like scoop it out and spread it and then scoop it out and spread it. And right. that shit's annoying. And Jaleesa said, I don't put butter on my waffles. And I was like, why are we friends? Stop. That's so aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Taylor gets aggressive about like really random things <laughs> like that. You get aggressive about bits. <laughs> I don't like bits. Don't put bits in my food. Like what the fuck? You get aggressive about when people fucking recommend you SpongeBob episodes. Do you know I was <laughs> like, I was fucking laying here. We were listening to somebody's podcast and I was literally, I was paying attention, but at some point I was like, Taylor really got upset about that SpongeBob shit. Like you were really fucking pissed. So I just want to apologize on Taylor's behalf to everybody that Taylor went off on. I'm so sorry. This is what we deal with every day, but we love him. We love our angry dad. So, Oh man. But no, yeah, I'm sorry. Waffles are great and all, but the only waffles I really eat are fucking like on my egos. <laughs> so they're pretty good and they don't be fucking up like that. They're not too thick, but I like pancakes. I love me some pancakes. Fucking pancake house. My parents like waffles. They bought a waffle maker and the only time I've used it was to make like a breakfast abomination, not what? waffles. <laughs> like I put like... I made like a breakfast waffle. Like I did like hash browns and okay, like eggs and Okay, but that sounds like perfect. Oh, it I was. It was amazing. That shit. What the he- Abomination? <laughs> Gift from God, I think you mean. Oh, hey, man. what do you guys like? Waffles or pancakes? And if you say waffles, tell Taylor why you're wrong. I don't think that you're wrong. I don't think you're wrong. But ta- tell Taylor why you're wrong. <laughs> uh, All right, what's next? Um, We could talk about... Um, Icon. Icon is not going to disband, but people really? want them to. Now, that's a good segue. Let's talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> so, apparently, actually, I'm, and I didn't tell you this, but oh, apparently this. Withholding information. <laughs> <laughs> um, the clips that have that everybody are talking about aren't new. They're from like 2016. Mm-hmm. But. They also did it more than once. 
So okay. it's not like it was just like one concert. They did they this constantly thing. Constantly did this. Yeah, like over and over again. Nobody checked them. Nobody was like, hmm, maybe not. Maybe I'll. Show and then you I that. guess some icon fans are just okay with it, so they just kept it hush hush. I don't know, okay. but so tell people what happened because I'm still also still trying to understand it. I think Jesus Candle went out, but I think he oh, was tired of Jesus their bullshit. Oh, Jesus has abandoned too. us. Jesus never has abandoned you. <laughs> But I think he's tired of hearing about the icon bullshit. Oh, Sorry. God. Go um, on. I'm going to try and light him up. So. Boom, boom, Chibata. You uh, remember that uh, shit? Look. Bull, bull, Chibata. Yes. It's, that was a good time. That was fucking good times. Oh, Jiang. What's up? He wasn't giving any fucks those times. No, he wasn't. You know what else he wasn't giving fucks? I'm sorry, I'm like far away. When he was like, fuck fashion. Do you remember, <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that bullshit? Wasn't that at our fucking fashion yeah, show? The Muggler fashion show. Oh my Fuck god. Fuck fashion. <laughs> oh, it was the greatest time ever. Um, All right, go on. Okay, so at one of our con- concerts, or not one, excuse me, multiple of their concerts, they have a, a stage uh, where they dressed up. I think they were doing like. Uh, ignore my yaoi hands, y'all. I'm sorry. Oh. Go on. Um, doing a up and down parody stage. I fucking love that song. And so they all dress up as girls and they'll, I don't know, like school girl uniforms mm-hmm. or whatever. But they up there like flipping each other's skirts and like, this is not my turn because I've looked at the GIF. I haven't seen the video. I just saw the GIF and they were like, and they're kind of like humping each other. But I was like, I don't know. I mean, it does look strange. Mm-hmm. But so I like, wouldn't say that they're humping, but, like, it's definitely, like, why would you do that? Being extra as fuck on stage for no reason. In front of a bunch of, like, underage girls. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking... Why that's why that? it's, like, weird. Like, that's really strange. Like, that's... Why are, And who approved of it? Who said that was all right? Did nobody, like, check them and be like, hey... I don't know. You know what? Mm. That's... That's crazy. It, because, like... Like you were saying earlier, because we talk, we got to talk about these things before we present them to you all. Mm-hmm. Um, like, why did nobody like? Why did nobody check them? Why did nobody say that this is kind of strange? You guys, if you hear noises, that's me using the fidget box. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. I, I I don't I don't understand why. I, I, okay, Winner. Uh, winner, oh my god, not Winner. By the oh. way, go listen to Winner. Um, They just came out with some good shits, and it's good. It is good. It's real Ignore good. Ignore the awkward picture, you guys. Ignore it. I'm talking about them when they was wearing the weird mean girl. You're picture. right. We yes. were talking shit about that one teaser for no reason. I mean, it was it was for a reason. It was for a baby, baby, but like, baby reason. It was just, a fucking ugly. Just pretend like... That picture doesn't exist. Right, baby lion with the long hair. He looks fucking beautiful. He did look beautiful. Oh my god, I love that guy. But no, back to Icon being fucking weird. Why? <laughs> <laughs> like I, I just, I just don't get it personally. I don't know. And then, and you know, like, like I said, it's like, it's a their audience is like young girls, and a lot of them were like, "What? Like that's kind of that's kind of weird." Yeah. Like, I, I, some people talk about they felt uncomfortable. Um, but then there's f- fucking iconics that are like, That's a cute it's name not for that fans, big so. deal. Some of them are like, this, so somebody was like, it's misogynistic. And they were like, it's not misogynistic. Our guys are super gay all the time. Here's why. Anyways, and people were like, shut the fuck. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, those aren't even related. Can you- we stay on the topic? <laughs> I mean, go like off, you I guess, but... Like, you bitch. Like, but, stop <laughs> it. Um, nah, man. I mean, like, if your faves do something that's, like, questionable or fucked up, people are allowed to have their feelings about it, like... But anyway... Like, you're allowed to like your faves and be like, damn, you're problematic. You gotta fix that. That's like, very, Just like, because you are a stand of somebody doesn't mean you have to approve and support every single thing they do. No. It, and that, I think that, like, part of being a very good fan is being critical of, like, what the artists that you stand do. Like, if they do something wrong, call them out on it. Mm-hmm. Because if not, I don't think you really even care about them because you want them to get better. You want them to be better. So then why wouldn't you call them out on the shit that they do? It's just, like, blind worship. Like... Exactly! They're people and they fuck up. Don't blind worship them and act like their, their fuck-ups aren't fuck-ups. They are. Right. And that's... And them niggas just being embarrassing. I'm like, he, mm, you would never catch my boys doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, anyways, let's what's the, what's the next one? Um, actually, th- this wait, is in a BTS wait. podcast, but oh. 
<laughs> this, now that you say that, I, it, <laughs> our boys wouldn't do that. I was thinking, I was like, would they do that? And then I was like, they put a Yungi in a girl in a yeah. school uniform. Nobody flipped his skirt. Nobody flipped his skirt. But I mean, I don't know. Then again. Then again, right? Would you flip Yungi skirt? No. no. He's fucking, fucking. He had a fucking gun in his bag. <laughs> But even then, no, like, like joking, like all jokes aside, like even if your fave does fuck up, like Bong Tan has fucked up a couple times in the past. Yeah. And we've talked about it before, like not with you guys before we did the podcast. We've talked about it, and like we've acknowledged that everybody's there's nobody who's not problematic. The fact of the matter is that you have to, and that's in general as a whole. Exactly. I like, swear to God, this is something I think about a lot because there are a lot of people I'm. I'm from Tumblr.com, hey, and there's a lot of people. Hi, who, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of people who go on the like problematic crusade, and mm-hmm. they, they feel like they they have to be like the cleanest, mm-hmm. least problematic person in the universe, and like that's not realistic. They're, they're so quick to scream in somebody's face, talking about this is why you're wrong, this is why you're problematic. But the thing is, we're all problematic. I'm my own problematic fave. <laughs> I That's how it should be. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I, I think that you have to allow people to grow from things also. But if they do something yes. wrong, fucking call them out on it. Tell them what they did wrong. So, Icon, you done wrong. Not just in this, but some of your music, honey. I'm sorry, <laughs> but you have. It's the truth. It's the truth. Accept it. Mm. But you know what? I fucking love Welcome Back. Welcome Back. I still da, fucking da, love Shino Jizak. That was this fucking shit. That was like, that was. Pretty wow. fucking good. I also like on oh, the and I like fucking oh, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Yes. The rhythm ta bitch. Rhythm <laughs> ta As you can see, I like five of their songs. So <laughs> But what's next? What's next? Um continuing on the I mean, not a BTS podcast. But. but today we're talking about armies. <laughs> LOL, any armies here? <laughs> Ew. Oh. <laughs> so this weekend there was a niggas got wild. Niggas did get wild. There was a what's new with armies? I'm so sorry, but that's like, all right, I y'all feel know, you though. like y- y'all know, like. Bitch, I can say it. I get it. Actually, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like jump. I'm gonna like jump backwards. I'm gonna go around and go then around I'm gonna hit it. the point. Ooh, okay, boy, go so, around the building. Sometimes I think about how people will be like, I can't get into BTS because they're fandom crazy. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I can't relate because their music is so good. Like, mm-hmm. what do you mean? Like, they're fucking, they're fucking BTS. Okay. Yeah. But then I'm like. But I kind of did that with EXO. Like, when EXO came right, out and right. all the XOL craziness happened, I was like, I can't I fuck with them. Right, yeah. I was like, I can't yeah. fuck with them. They're, 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 them niggas wild. But I got Here's over that because EXO music shit. is good. Look, exactly. They have good music. Like I'm not going to favorite music. I'm exactly. not going to lie. Like, I'm not going to deprive myself just because some some other crazy people acting crazy. Like, Motherfucking, the, I lost my mind. Not her Y'all know what that song is. That's like my mom's favorite EXO song. They be getting down like the fucking cookout music. Like, you know, like in the old people. <laughs> you know, like at the cookout when like the old people be like, oh, y'all know nothing about none of this. And then like the stepbrothers, they come together. They do like the little fucking oh, shimmy my shake with God. the shoulders. That's literally what it reminds me of. Anyways, go on. But, I love some EXO. I'll say it now. Shit, I love EXO. Go on. But, uh... Yeah, Arm is pretty crazy too. Yeah, really fucking wild. Y'all. <clears throat> okay, go on. <laughs> Read the thing. This weekend, they BTS performed at like Music Bank Woo-hoo! at uh, in Singapore, I believe. And mm-hmm. there's just been stories about like crazy shit that armies did. Bite people. <laughs> one of the stories. <laughs> one of the stories was a girl talking about how she was at the concert or whatever, and she was next to somebody, some fan site master mm-hmm. um and the girl was mad the fan site master was mad because i guess i don't know the girl was sounding like she was just minding her business trying to enjoy her time but the fan site master couldn't get her pictures so she fucking pulled her hair and <laughs> tried to choke her or did choke her damn bitch. and then the other girl who got choked she was like what the fuck and she bit that fan site master fucking twilight so much <laughs> 
I, the reason I said that is because I want to picture Twilight on the fucking composition we do. Like, the oh picture. my god, just <laughs> for that, you fuck. Fuck. <laughs> you Look, fuck. I love Twilight, you guys. <laughs> But no, literally, she fucking bit somebody. Yeah, she fucking bit the shit out of her. She was like, "You're not gonna do me like that and come out unscathed." So, oh, that's so fucking yeah, funny. And, and yeah, oh, so that God. was crazy. And I was kind of like, "What the fuck is going on?" And then uh-huh. the other story I read was that so at the event, you like enter your phone number into some whatever, mm-hmm. and. During the event, BTS, like, picked some numbers and called them. Oh, yeah. And mm-hmm. they called them up to the stage to, like, meet them and get a picture or whatever. Mm-hmm. Sounds nice. So, one of the people, apparently, one of the people that went up on stage was not the person that they called on I the phone. I would have been fucking pissed. The per- there's two accounts that I read. One was from the person that they actually called. <gasps> and she said that she... Went to the event, but she couldn't get tickets to the actual concert. Mm-hmm. So she was just outside, like, trying to, like, hear mm-hmm. it from outside. And they called her phone. And, like, she she posted screenshots of, mm-hmm. like, the log or whatever. And I don't even remember what she said that she told them. But a, but somebody mm-hmm. else went up on stage. Are you and fucking so serious? That, that girl was upset because she was like, you know... I understand that I didn't have tickets, so I wouldn't have been able to go anyway. But they should have drawn somebody else, yeah. and that person should have got to go. Like, Not that would have been the fair girl. thing. Yeah. Exactly. So then the second account I read was from somebody that sat in front of the girl that went up on stage. Mm-hmm. And she said that when they called the girl that was outside, it was really quiet, obviously, would it, mm-hmm. which it wouldn't have been if no. she had been inside. Yeah. And she said that BTS, like, made some joke, like, are you at home right now? Mm-hmm. But then she said that she, like, turned around because the girl that went on stage was, like, had her phone up and was, like, faking like she was on a phone call. But it, like, didn't make sense the way it looked. And then she went up there. Also. What the fuck? You faking if you've seen, Okay. Right? I'm sorry. I would have been pissed. <laughs> if you've seen. I would have fucking Kool-Aid man through that wall and oh been like, God. you called me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. If you've seen any pictures from that event, um. You, you might recognize that the girl that I'm talking about is this girl that when she went up on stage, she like, oh, you, oh, you remember that, uh, that one Wings Tour concert where Taehyung hugged everybody and mm-hmm. Jimin like ran and yeah. jumped into his arms. Mm-hmm. That girl kind of did that to Taehyung. Girl, but, you're not, you're not, what? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> and so... Girl. The girl that wrote the second fan account was like, he kind of looked uncomfortable for a second, Bitch, but then he like cool. wiped it off because like actor. he's a professional, he's a, right? He's a professional actor, honey. Did you not see his drama? <laughs> All right. <laughs> but yeah, that's the crazy shit. Wow. And, so, and then the girl talked about how afterwards when the girl went back to her seat, she was acting all cocky, talking about some, yeah, I've been to six BTS concerts. Yeah, did you see that? Blah, blah, blah. All right, bitch. Well, now they know you weren't called, and now you're shamed. <laughs> Real quick, can we please talk about wild wow, that's like fan shit happening? Because when you were talking about wild wow, fan shit, do you remember when it came out that that one girl at a BAP concert shit herself? Bro, <laughs> that's like a legendary like that's a legendary fan story to me. It, it really is. I wonder where she is. I hope she's doing well. <laughs> I mean, like honestly, like I hope she's doing well. Oh, girl. And remember that one girl when Day sung through his fucking towel at her and she oh threw my it back? God. Pissed me. Ooh, ooh. Do you remember about that one BTS Big Bang concert we went to and the bitches was fighting over the jacket? Bruh, they were doing tug of war over this jacket for literally, like five minutes straight. Like, they literally. weren't even looking at each other anymore. They were looking back at the stage, but they were still tugging over that fucking fighting. jacket. We were just looking at them like, damn, we wish we were over there, but... Right. <laughs> We can't oh, just man. suddenly stick a hand into the tug of war and be like, it's mine now. Right, because, look, them bitches was crazy. And also, then, like, security was standing there just, <laughs> <laughs> just watching, like, I guess making sure it didn't escalate, but damn. It's too late, bitch. <laughs> if y'all have any wild fan accounts, please let us know. I love those. Like, I love, and if you ever met your idols, like, your favorite ones, tell us how that went, you know? I love hearing stories about that. What else do we have for the night, Taylor? Um, just that, Sunny. Ah! Oops, sorry. That was uh, an ugly noise. <laughs> is having a comeback this month. My queen. I'm so that excited. Is so scary. I'm like, so what? sorry. I'm just like I love Sunny so much. 
That's my bitch. And Tae Young is having a comeback. Woohoo. I'm oh joking. I've my been, God. I've been waiting for his music. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually saying like two days ago before you sent that message to the group chat about how he was coming back. I was like, damn, I really fucking miss his music. I need something by him. And then you sent it. And I was like, ooh. And I showed it to my mom. And she was like, <clears throat> he looks real good. What's really funny to me is that like the day before that came mm-hmm. out, I was talking to Kiana. And I was like, how he had a concert. This was like when his hair yeah. came. I was like, how you got a concert? He ain't got no more music. Like, he doesn't have any mm-hmm. new music. So I was like, damn, when then is that going to happen? Out. Then the next day, they was like, here's when the album comes out. I was like, he got my right. back. <laughs> Look, my mom Also, like, oh, oh, go no. ahead. And I was just telling my mom how, like, now I'm standing him again. She was like, you a fake fan. <laughs> she was like, I was with him through all the bad hair. Oh, my God. I was like, God. yes, you were, and no, Speaking I was not. Speaking of the bad hair, that is gone. <laughs> Thank you, God. And I keep saying that it's like this Young is like, this was like young, like just had his mm-hmm. solo Taeyong with the baby mohawk yes. mixed with ring a ling Taeyong with he like the white so blonde good. hair. So good. He looks bitch. younger too. Like the <sighs> ancestors gave him back his time. Oh my God. <laughs> he looks great now. So shout out to Taeyong. Love you guy. It's great to be a stand again. It's good to be <laughs> fed, you know? Speaking of, what's your favorite Tae Young song? You already know. I do already know. It's "Love You to Death." Love You to Death. But why it's was my Ringling favorite in my song head? too? Oh, because you were saying it. I did say because I was like, "Don't it and now." <laughs> oh, you were like, "What's your favorite song?" That was just that part. I was like, "No, no, it's not that." I fucking love you to love love you to death. Ooh, the stages for that were so fucking good. Oh, when he was wearing the fucking what was it? The cafeteria lady hairnet. Good times. Good <laughs> yes. times. Oh, um. So now we got what we got recommendations. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Here are our recommendations for the week. We already said winner. Mm-hmm. Their songs were both very Amazing. good. Amazing. Really, really good, y'all. There was a second when I saw that teaser when I was like that the bad one mm-hmm. when I was like, what if they put out music that I don't like? <laughs> it's so funny because it had it, never it, happened. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a thing with them. I'm sorry. You're um, right. It's not. I don't know why I thought such a blasphemous thing, but I just got worried. I was like, shit. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, the Rose is a band. Mm-hmm. They have a song called Sorry. This That's was really also good. recommended by Jay. That's why I listen to it. My it's buddy good. Jay from Day mm-hmm. Six. By the way, go listen to their new shit that yes. just came out. It's really good. Please, they need food. Thank you. <laughs> go buy it. Um, Nine Muses album was really good. Oh yeah, you did say that. Yeah. Um, we got fucking new group. On the f- <laughs> on, <laughs> on off, free. on and off, on and off, uh, go on Oomph. and off, bitch. It's, it reads like on. <laughs> that album was good. Uh, dang old Samuel, who's uh, no my no my son. Yeah, adorable. Oh my god, this is oh so my cute. god. Kiana and I watched some stages, mm-hmm. and I said that he should do a duet with. Who did I say? Somebody with a young face. Oh, fuck. With a young face and an old body. Who <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say nothing about no old body. Um, I'm going to come back to that. I don't remember right. who I said. Um, C- okay. I'm, I'm trying to figure out who it could be, but go on. Mm-hmm. Um, CLC's new album is good, but mm-hmm. I didn't like the title track. Like, oh, I don't care for it. But mm-hmm. everything else was good. Okay. Um, 101 has debuted officially. Their song Energetic is the shit. It's really good. Was that what you was playing, that gay song? Mm-hmm. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> and also, Primary's album has come out. Oh, my God. And it did? Yeah. Bitch. I got to <laughs> listen to it. I love me some Primary. And I really like the song, really like and recommend the song called On because it's got my bae, Samuel So. Oh, and- true. Spot ahead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Spot ahead. Oh, uh, we're at, um, at 30. Word. Perfect. Um, damn, I'm really upset. I don't remember what the fuck. Who well, I it said. wasn't IU. It wasn't um, a I'm pretty sure it was Acme. a boy. Oh, from a... Oh, was he in a group or is he a solo artist? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I tried. Oh, man. Somebody young. I think... We could talk about it next week if you remember. Okay. Actually, I'm going to text Kiana and see if she remember. Also, Start- real quick. Oh, go ahead. It's like, no, I'll go back to that later when we get to comments. Go on. Oh, you can. You want to plug us? Um. Oh, yes, real quick. Everybody, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, 
And please, please, y'all, just comment below anything that we've said. What music are y'all listening to right now? Follow everybody on our social medias. You know, that's the Snapchat, Instagram, the Twitter, and I'm going to say this for Kiana, the Invisible Facebook. Mm. So, um, oh, also real quick, um, I, I don't know if you guys watch our reactions. I know some of you guys do and some of you guys don't. But in the last one, I was like, yeah, we'll try to put out a video every week. We didn't put out one last week, but that was because I'm in the process of moving right now. So we haven't really had the time to sit down and edit anything. Like when I tell you that like it's literally just been moving and moving, that's all it's been. I'm fucking tired, you guys. I haven't really slept for like 14 days, but it's all right. I'm alive. Oh <laughs> um, but uh, so ideally we'll have something out sometime this week. And if not this week, we'll have two videos out by next week. So I started editing on it. Perfect. Um, perfect. So. Because you guys are special, you, like, take the time to listen to us talk about dumb shit for an hour. You guys get to get, like, the behind the scenes. Oh, my God. It was Mark from NCT. Oh, my God. That would be... Yes! Right? Yes! Oh, my God. Yes! <laughs> I love I'm Mark. I'm so sorry. Listen, Mark Mark from NCT and Samuel should do a duet. That would actually be really fucking cute. A duo, a thing. Okay. All right. I, anyway, what was I'm, I talking about? I'm pressed now. I'm fucking pressed now. <laughs> right? Yes. I love Mark. Um, fucking mark <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah so you guys get like the behind the scenes mm-hmm. the next reaction that's coming out is jay part which song is it yacht 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 that's the song is yacht oh i thought it was hulk hogan no not that one. Oh, hey. i mean that's not the one you gave me oh you gave me yacht oh no i mean oh, it's well. fun <laughs> awesome. well we'll begin that but one funny story there is a there is a part that we had it was supposed to be a double feature right <laughs> but we couldn't do it we couldn't do it we, couldn't. we had to cut it it was that but bad. i'm gonna try to save some funny parts for the for the end of the video yeah so. so you guys get like you get the know you know now to stay until after the credits so you can see a little bit yeah. of what the fuck happened and it, why that's not in there. Yeah, it was um, it was a wild ride, you guys. But uh, hopefully we'll have that out. We will have that out soon. So thank mm-hmm. y'all for being patient with us. You guys know, like, we do love doing videos, but we do have, like, a lot of stuff on this end, too. Uh, so, oh, ideally, at some point, we'll be able to do this 24-7 for you guys because mm-hmm. this is genuinely, like, we've talked about it. This is something that we love to do. But as of right now, we do have some other things we got to take care of, too. So, mm-hmm. But you guys are still a, a priority to us, very much so. Yeah. What's the next shits we're talking about? We're moving on to comments, everyone. Woohoo! This is everybody's fa- If I, I fucking need to get me a cowbell. Dingle, 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 <laughs> dingle comments. <laughs> All right. Um, will you start with... Um, yeah, you point to which one you want me to start with. We got a couple. Y'all, y'all really come through with the comments shits. I love y'all. Start with this one because this was the one that I forgot last week okay hey my darling Raphael. we are so sorry we didn't get your comment so you're gonna go first you get priority my darling you said hey y'all hey (laughs) y'all i love it southern saying y'all all All right rolask rolaska talks is roxy andrews alaska thunderfuck 5000 and detox from season five and all stars two thank you so much because i literally have been wondering what the the bitches names was question for you guys (laughs) will jay put out an american album before cl (laughs) i'm a shady black jack lol let me tell you something baby i will put out (laughs) a fucking american album before cl does so stay on the lookout for my album you guys (laughs) It'll just me be screaming and doing runs over like ambient rain sound or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, you said I love Dean's voice. He could put me to sleep anytime. Right? Look, I love R and B J Park, and my favorite song is "Stay with Me." All right, and you linked us. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking the time. I really appreciate that. And then you said my nicknames were Pelon means bald head in Spanish, baby. I'm sorry. When I was in elementary school, and all my friends called me that, even though I wasn't bald. Why they do that? And Rolf, <laughs> why they call you that <laughs> and Rolf because of work uh they apparently don't know how to pronounce my name um no nah, you need to make them pronounce your name baby you have a beautiful name i'm sorry they can learn um my new podcast title would be blue scissors i love all the wise we might have scissors to my left it's all right but i do want to know why you have scissors to your left what would you do was it like an art project tell us about it <laughs> p.s i love y'all i too have notifications on we love you too Raphael. thank you so much my darling i'm sorry Raphael, kiki. <laughs> That's, <true. laughs> That's literally what it said. 
That's cute. So, thank you so much, and we're sorry that we're just now getting to your comment, but thank you for commenting. We love you. They also commented this week, and I'm going to go ahead and read that. Go for it. Say, hey, y'all. Again. <laughs> hey, Southern Slang, y'all. <laughs> I'm still mad about my comment from last week. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, oh. Uh, ask for some more demon talk with Kyra. Awesome. Um, also, that oh, they would y'all. go shopping with Park Bomb. Yes. Their mom, Jin, their husband, Ken, their boyfriend. Which, by the way, this is so funny because it sounds like Kiana's conversation. This is, this is, are you Kiana? Hello. Um, <laughs> that's literally ever. That's literally <laughs> Kiana right there. Okay. Uh, actually, literally. My, um, <laughs> my content would be a mix of Selena Quintanilla. Selena! I love Selena. That's Ooh, my God. girl. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> yes. Fans mm-hmm. coming up and hugging me in 21. Badass. Oh, yes. The song that makes me cry is Bomb You and I. Everything oh. from the start, I would literally cry. Oh, my baby. <laughs> I love you, Raphael. Thank you. Also, I'm going to go ahead and slide through. Um... Jahira says that she also wants more demon stories. Hi, Jahira, you. you know I love you. And Jade, the creator, love, says, also wants more demon stories. Ah, oh, y'all. Um, before we slide into that, yeah. they also want to know if we have recommendations for Red Velvet and Vix because they haven't Ooh. listened to them before. Oh, darling. But have them recommended. And also, the thought of Big Bang being over breaks their heart. But Me it's too. cool because all of that ma- Because, wait. Maybe because none of that matters if it's okay. I think that's what they meant. Oh, we understand. Honestly, Big Bang was one of my first groups that I really got into like mm-hmm. that. And I would really be heartbroken also. But like you said, like as long as they're all right, I would be okay. So um, then for Red Velvet songs, I really, really recommend Cool Hot Sweet Love. I love me some um, Automatic, one of my favorite songs by them. There's another song I like by them. I like their slow jams. Like, what was it? They, did you know originally they were going to do, like, a red and then a velvet? Like, the velvet was supposed to be, like, nice, smooth, sexy songs, and then red was supposed to be, like, the cute, poppy thing. That's cute. Why right? didn't they do that? Because they saw people liked red, I guess, a lot more, so they just stuck with red now. I think they mm. do, somebody said they do, like, velvet maybe once or twice every like album Mm -hmm. but i really wish that they would give us a full velvet album because i would really fucking love that yeah but um red velvet i like those songs dum dum is always a good song to start out with yeah that whole album was pretty good Mm -hmm. i recommend it and then vix baby how long do you have to sit here because i literally (laughs) recommend you every single vix album i think one of my favorite ones to start off with because i know when i saw the teaser for it i literally hyperventilated in my head yes voodoo doll voodoo doll was one of my absolute favorites voodoo doll was iconic because Uh, like when it came out vix hadn't won first place yet so everybody was just well like the fandom was just like waiting like when's gonna be we knew it was coming when is it gonna be we saw the teasers for voodoo doll we were like this is it i literally almost passed out in my chair (laughs) like (laughs) you think that's a joke i literally was hyperventilating and almost had okay anyway (laughs) so yeah the whole uh, that whole album Mm -hmm. pretty sure it's called voodoo yeah listen to that whole album um, I really like Chained Up. I also really like Dynamite's album. People sleep on that album. This whole Zealous honestly, thing. Honestly, all of the all of the title tracks for sure that have come out recently Genuinely. from them, they're mm-hmm. all really good. All of their title tracks ever are really good. If you just get a playlist with all of Vix's music videos, you got good shits yeah. going on. And honestly, I think that they debuted with a really good song, Superhero. Whenever I hear it, I get con feels. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I think that those are really good. Ooh, you know what you should do. You know what I'm gonna no, I'm gonna ask Kayla because I know she's like one of the biggest Vic stands that I she know. Is. I'm gonna That's ask her, her bias group. That's her bias group. So I'll, I'll ask Kayla also. So yes, I'll ask her and I'll have the Rex for next week. Dope. If um, I can remember, don't quote me, y'all. Mm-hmm. But yeah. <laughs> and so now go on with your demon stories, boy. All right, you guys. So here we go. So I I do have demon stories, but this one that I'm going to tell you guys is not as juicy as the last one from last week. So I'm going to give you guys two stories. Um, the reason why I'm bringing this one up, even though it's not all that as good, is because it deals with the same demon lady from last week. You guys thought she was finished? No, she's hey, not. Let me get a zebra cake. All right, yeah, you guys, I got some zebra cakes, by the way. I didn't mean to put you all up in my mouth. I'm sorry. Um, ooh, you get the last one. Oh, no. Oh, so we can share them. There's two. That's what friends do. Mm-hmm. See, friendship. Thanks, Bong Tan, for inventing friendship. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys. Oh. 
If I don't get all the details, I'm so sorry. The reason is because, again, it was not as interesting as the first lady. I think, honestly, everything kind of over, like, that demon lady kind of overshadows every single demon story, I have to say. Mm -hmm. Except for the second one, because this girl literally, like, downloaded demons onto her phone. So be careful what apps you download. Anyways, <laughs> that sounds like a Black Mirror episode. Isn't that, like, a thing Doesn't or something? It? Right? Look! Okay, what's funny, I have never even watched the show. But, okay, I know the references. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, I'm kind of stalling because it's not that good and I kind of don't want to tell it, but I'm like, I want you guys to know what happened with her. Okay, so this one's about actually her husband. So I'm trying to get all the details and I wrote down like points on my bulletin board. It says Saturday afternoon after hours. <laughs> she walks in. So it was like a Saturday. It was after hours. Well, not after hours. I think it was like around four o'clock. She had called earlier in the day and was like, thank you so much, Angela, for helping me. Yada, yada, yada. You're the best. Um, do you mind if I bring my husband around? You can have this last one. It's fine. Just split it. Just split it. Just give me half of it because I'm not trying to eat too really late tonight anyways. My stomach was bothering me earlier. Just so y'all know, I'm sorry. There's too much information anyways. Um, so she comes in and she's like, hey, what's up, ladies? And I'm like, girl, you look real familiar. Then I'm like, oh, bitch, you just got exercise last week. Hey, how are you? <laughs> she's like, <laughs> she's doing well. She's like, her life has gotten so much better now that she doesn't have demons on her back. So I was like, that's so great. Oh, my God. So she goes to the back and talks with Angela. Thankfully, I don't hear any screaming. I hear, like, laughter and talking, and then Angela closes her door. Usually when she closes her door, that means they're talking about more serious things. Sometimes she wants me to be in the room because she's training me up so I can learn how to do these things myself. So... Next thing I know, this little short guy comes in and he's like, hey, is my wife in here? I'm like, nigga, I don't know who the fuck your wife is. <laughs> I don't know who she is. So <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't know. But you know, I can't say that to people in my place of work. So I'm like, I'm not sure, sir. I'm so sorry. What does she look like? So then the wife ends up coming back anyways, because um, there was like a big glass mirror that was like two way. So she can see from the office, but I can't really see inside the office. So the wife's like, hey, honey, come to the back. So I'm just like, all right, you guys go to the back and talk about things. I'm just going to be here and like clean up and sweep and like cash, like read out the cash register and everything. So um, I'm back there doing that. And I hear them back there talking. And then I hear the door close again and I'm like, okay, they must be getting serious things. So they're talking, the voices get a bit, little bit louder and then you know what happens next. Angela starts speaking in tongues. Now, that's when she does that, shit is about to get serious. It's like Ash catch him turning around his hat in Pokemon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's so serious. Like, it, shit's about to get fucking wild. And what's the best thing about my boss is that she can go into tongues any fucking time literally <laughs> this is off topic but today i was reading her book to her and she was like oh yes lord she started speaking in tongues and i was like i didn't know if i should stop reading or read over her speaking in tongues <laughs> so i kind of was just like reading to myself a little bit <laughs> so she was just go on baby girl go on baby girl so i went on with the story but anyway back to the story so then i hear the woman back there fucking screaming and crying and they hear a man's voice i'm like oh here we go again the bitch done brought more demons into my shop so i'm just like i'm not pissed but i'm like at least it's after hours and like i don't have to worry about anything so of course you guys know when we whenever we start casting out demons angela comes to the front and she's like kyra close up the doors i'm fine with it because i think at this point it's like maybe 4 30 and I'm like, fine, we close up 30 minutes, like in 30 minutes anyway, so I'm sure nobody's gonna fucking care. It was really slow anyways. So I close up the shop and I'm up there like really counting out the money now and like on my phone playing around, I'm probably fucking texting you guys because that's all the fuck I do when I was at work. So then I hear them back there screaming and like yelling and stuff and Angela's still speaking in tongues and then she comes, she's like, Kyra, come here now. So I go back there. And when I go back there, it's dead quiet. Like, Angela's, like, sitting at her desk, and they're, like, sitting all proper in their chair, and they're fucking smiling at me, looking like fucking weirdos. And I'm like, D what the fuck? And I don't, <laughs> I don't want to say anything. I don't want to tell them that I just heard their exorcism from the fucking front of the shop. But I'm like, hey, everybody. And she's like, hey, Kyra, can you please read us the scripture? But she says it, like, in her voice, like, Kyra, read us the scripture. So I read the scripture. And Angela's so sweet. She does this thing where she's like, I like to call Kyra to the back because she's my little butterfly. And when she reads for me, it's just, and I'm like, oh, Angela, thank you so much. And they're just fucking smiling, not saying anything like you fucking weirdos. But I don't tell them that because I can't call the customers weirdos. So... <laughs> So um, I read them the scripture and then I go back up to the front and she's like, oh, she's like, thank you. And they're like, oh, you read so beautifully. I'm like, thanks, bitch. I was in theater. So I go up to the front, fucking reading through my shits again. 
the door closes and then I hear Angela's like, where's my oils? Because she has like um, blessed oils, like anointing oils and things. And they're screaming and they're crying and shit again. And then um, I think actually at one point she has me open up the shop again, but they end up closing it for the rest of the night. And I just fucking hear them back there screaming and shit. And at one point, the husband, when everything, I guess, fucking dies down, I hear them back there laughing like, ha, 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 you just exercise our demon. Thanks. And she's like, no problem. The husband comes up to the front and he buys like some fucking almonds or something, like a bag of almonds. And he's like, she's great. And I'm like, yeah, bitch, she's great. But aren't you in the middle of a fucking exorcism? Like, should you be talking to me right now? And he's like, yeah. I mean, I can't say that to him. I don't want him to know that I just heard that but I mean like everybody to two mile radius literally heard him fucking <laughs> screaming so he goes back to the back again they start praying they do the thing again thankfully Angela doesn't call me to the front but before I can lock the doors I remember it's about like 5 15 my mom comes to pick me up and she's like car what the fuck is going on back there I'm like you know just demon like Angela doing her demon slayer shit like that's all she ever does sometimes she's like oh, okay well are you all right I was like hell yeah I'm fucking covered by the blood of Jesus I wasn't afraid <laughs> I wasn't afraid. <laughs> okay, that's a lie. At that point, I was afraid. I think that was like the second exorcism that I'd seen in my entire life. And not not a lot of people have like second exorcisms, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I think I was all right. I'm gonna try and speed this story up. So basically at the end of the, the at the end of the day, they fucking leave and they fuck they leave like it's fine. Like they're like, oh, we'll see you guys soon. Have a great day. As if nothing happened. And it was like, them people got problems. And she like just told me about everything that was going on. And I was like, I mean, she didn't tell me, like, the confidential things that went back on, but she was just basically like, yeah, I just exercised some demons. So, of course, she had me save the shop and then bless the shop and everything. So, that was such into that. Never saw them again. I hope that they're doing well. They don't have any more demons. But who fucking knows? We don't have the shop anymore. So, maybe they went there and were like, what am I going to get? Anyways, the other story that I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to try and speed it up because that story was kind of dry, is the story about this girl who fucking downloaded a, a demon onto her phone. So, I met her through a mutual friend. And she was like, hey, Kyra, do you guys still have the shop? I was like, yeah. She was like, can I bring my friend around? Because the, the first time that Angela met this mutual friend, um, I had invited her over to come see the shop and to meet Angela in general. And the first time Angela meets her, she's staring at her real hard. She's like, Kyra, what, what's going on with your friend? I was like, I don't know her life like that. I don't know what's going on with her. And she was like, she goes over to my friend. She's like, mm, sweetie, you have something dark around your head. Come back to the room with me. I guess she has some demons waving around her head too. So after seeing that, she was like, oh, she got some shit going on. So she invites her friend over and she's like, hey, basically, I guess her and her friend was playing with some some ghost thing on her phone. And it was like, oh, it's like a ghost hunter app. And it's like, there's some ghost in your room. Here's that. And you could talk to the ghost. Which first off, don't talk to spirits because them niggas lie. Like, unless you know who it is, do not talk to them. And even then sometimes fucking them shits, they lie. Anyways, she was like, yeah, it's that and the other. It's my friend. When I was talking to the ghost and she said at one point, the app turned on by itself and it started talking to her. And it was like closet closet she was like bitch what the fuck you doing in the closet i didn't even turn you on then it was like bathroom and she i guess she has a bathroom that's next to her room and like the light started flickering on in the bathroom and she was like what the fuck next thing you know i guess the little bitch i'm sorry the little ghost bitch down <laughs> the little bitch and then i'm sorry the little ghost, ghost bitch so i can like specify my little ghost bitch fucking download something on her phone with this saying some weird shit like oh my God. it was saying some shit so angela was like mm. and at one point she had came up to the shop and she was like i feel this dark presence around me and i just don't know what to do and angela was like that's not fucking smart to play with ghosts and demons shit little girl so you take her to the back and like I said, my boss, when she sees you, literally everybody who's met my boss, if she's had time to sit down with you, you end up crying at some point. So she had a little girl back there in her office and she was like, mm, sweetheart, you have something around you. And she was like, your grandfather is trying to fight off all these spirits that's around you, but there's too many girl. You have legions around you. And I was like, I need to fucking leave because I don't want to be around the fucking legion girl. I mean, she was, <laughs> she is sweet. But like from the moment that I saw her, I knew something was wrong because I didn't want to look at her face. And that's something that I noticed is my thing. If you got demons around you or something really strong and the negative, I don't want to look in your face because I have actually, side note, I've actually had a demon stare at me through somebody that I knew's eyes and it scared the shit out of me. Like it really, really scared me. But anyways, so she's like, yeah, it's just on my phone. Angela was like, well, did you take it off your phone? She was like, no, I didn't take the app off my phone. And it was like, what? What? You need to throw away the whole goddamn phone. So she, <laughs> I don't think she threw it away, but she ended up playing the thing for Angela and Angela was trying to make me be in the room to listen to. I was like, this isn't my job. I'm not fucking Buffy the vampire slayer, fucking Buffy the demon slayer. That's not my job. That's you, Angela. That's not my business. That's not my business. But she let me listen to it and it fucking scared the shit out of me and I prayed over myself and I was like, Jesus. And then he sent in one of my other friends who's very spiritual, and very positive and she helped me out. 
And at one point, oh my God, they were sitting in the back and Angela was playing fucking um, demon videos with people being exercised. I was like, I don't want to see that. That sounds fucking... Mm. Anyways, I guess long story short. Oh, I think she got the demons off her phone. I think she did because she didn't call us back for a while. So I think she's all right for the most part. But I guess long story short, like don't fucking download ghost shits on your phone. Like don't, it might seem like it's a game, but spirits transmute themselves over electricity. But let me not get too far into that because next thing you know, I'll be talking about the fourth dimension. So anyways, okay, we're getting up on an hour, Taylor. Let's talk about the next shifts because if you guys want more demon stories, please, please, please tell me. I have a couple more. So yeah. All right. Read some some comments. Okay, hold on. I just locked myself out of my goddamn phone. Let's see. The next one I have is from, oh, please. It's from Aquasha. Hey, baby. She says, hey, bitch. What are you guys' favorite animes? I'm ready for J-Hope to iron read my soul. Oh, Iron Reaper Soul Stealer, my soul. To be honest, I prefer Dean's voice. My name is my nickname is Quasha. First off, it is week three without Hicks tape, and I'm still clenched, honey. I don't know if I ever actually unclenched. I'm still not ready. There's another comment about about Hicks tape. Hicks tape. Let me see real quick. What's your favorite anime, Taylor? Ta- Taylor's the oh, anime there's man. Also, another comment about anime. Awesome. Real quick, you read real quick. You talk about things. I have a lot of favorite animes. I mean, it's like really long. I have an anime list. Please go check it out. Mm-hmm. Follow me on myanimelist.com or is it dot net? Like mm, or dot org. I don't know, show. man. But I like ass class. I like. Uh, Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Kimin. 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 Yeah, girl. <laughs> Um, fucking Soul Eater. I like Samurai Shampoo, and oh yeah, that's Aquasha's favorite anime. Um, yes, my baby, me too. Michiko and Hachi. Yeah, you know, I like fucking. I am fucking Oren mm-hmm. High School oh, Host Club. Oh, the other person that commented said that their favorite anime is Fruits Basket. I was just about to get and that one. And Kyra has never seen Fruits Basket, I no. and Kayla and I are gonna put her on because it's too. It's too good. Um, man, I don't know. Let me see. I spy. Let me see. Let me read the comment. It says, it's from Tay Minix. I hope I, I pronounced that right. It says, hey, it's my first time commenting. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much for stepping out there. And says, first off, love you guys to pieces. We love you too. Your fave anime to watch is, oh, when you're sad as fruit baskets, it just lifts your spirits and barakamon. Barakamon. Barakamon makes you warm and fuzzy. It is. It's a really cute I'll put that on my list too. Um, Kyra, girl, G Dragon does stay looking like a cute homeless hippie with all his tie dye apparel, but I guess when you have that much money, you ain't gotta wear it. If that's not the fucking truth, look. <laughs> but you know what? It's all right. He could take me shopping, but you're right. I make him buy me stuff too. See, look, I knew it. And then you said Tae Hyung could be my, um, can buy my PJs because these are always so looking, looking silky. And I need that in my life. Me too, honey. I need some nice PJs. I don't got none. But my favorite anime is Sailor Moon, as you can tell by all of my fucking uh, my fucking social media handles. By the way, follow everybody on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, um, and please talk to us on there, you guys. I love Sailor Moon. I love Nart. Um, I really like. I fucks with that boy Nart. Yeah. Right, like Nart is the boy. I like Michiko to Hachi, and I like One Punch Man. I fucking love Food Wars, but I never actually finished oh my it. God, I love Food Wars. See, yeah, Food Wars. I really like uh, uh fucking Tokyo Ghoul. Oh, Donnie and Ramba. Donnie and Rambles. That's also, like, I like Toriko, which is another food anime. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like One Piece meets food. Oh, damn. That sounds fucking crazy. It is. I love it. Oh, and then my last one, King of the Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Hands down, my favorite anime. Um, Slice of Life, dad anime. Come on, guys. Um, The next one I see is from Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Dylan when i hope i pronounced that right if that's you and your fucking screen profile baby you are gorgeous oh my god you are so cute okay he says hey y'all you guys never fail to make me laugh honestly ella man i love you guys we love you too thank you another week without hicks tape baby look the torture of having to uh, um having to wait because it literally can drop any minute i've been waking up early every single day just to see if it was up i'm terrified i'm already snatched bald from bts themselves look honey i've had to literally invest in a whole bunch of lace front wigs because they're (laughs) fucking gone speaking of wigs and this is not a bts podcast even though we're fucking talking about bts podcast (laughs) but um how about 
when they went to do the fucking music bank or whatever, right? these niggas wearing hats all low and fucking wigs. Like, bro, we know, we know what the fuck is up. Bro, this is like, not our first rape. Two dollar shit last year. <laughs> <laughs> so this is not our first rodeo. Like, we can take it. Just show us the new hair. Stop playing with show us. Me edges. Yeah. Did somebody say something like, like Nam June look like you got a fucking mullet? Yes. Yeah, so I we, lied. We have to kill it. Oh. <laughs> we. I, I thought the mullet train stops here. Um, you also so said, <laughs> I don't have a single follicle left and Hicks tape hasn't even been released. Also, Hobie looks so cute brushing his teeth while I look like a mess. I doubt you look like a mess, but doesn't he? Isn't our guy great? Also, I'm waiting, Hobie. Where's my mixtape, honey? I'm I, I'm ready. I'm got my, I've been have my shit packed, Hobie. Like, come on. I'm ready for my week in the wilderness. Next. All right. We got a comment from... I spent, I'm sorry I spent so time talk, long talking about them goddamn demons, y'all. But, like, when I tell you this shit is real, it's so real. Go on. <laughs> K-Pop Level 9000 says, TK3 never fails to make me laugh. I love TK3. Oh. Y'all are so relatable. Oh. You brighten my day and help oh. me feel better. Keep Darling. spreading such positivity. And I added this one to talk about because I was so touched. Right? Honestly, like, you guys really are the sweetest. And that was, like... Hearing that, Taylor sent it to the group message. It really was, like, heartwarming to know that you guys think that about us. You really like us? Like, really? Like, bitch, I love you. I love you. Then we got a comment from J-Hope, the nigga boo. (laughs) (laughs) I love you. (laughs) That's fucking funny. Okay, come on. They Mm -hmm. said, one day, I'm going to snip the hell out of YG. Bitch, me too. (laughs) (laughs) He been playing with my emotions. I'm tired of the foolishness. I was waiting for a 21 comeback for a year. And on a bright and sunny day, I got a notification <laughs> that 21's disbanding and Taehyung's leaving winter. I feel you on that shit. That was like the worst day of my life. I'm not over-exaggerating when I say that. This mm-hmm. said, uh, I was honestly, what? Bunk? What? Bunk? Boom he- gang, all the <laughs> all the Sun Grease music because he deserves more than this shit. You. <laughs> oh my god look you're fucking hilarious i who is it jacob i love you. <laughs> i'm stan thank you um and i think that's oh, all nope. my comments i have one more comment it's okay. from tay tay my darling tay tay hey you always give us like really really good questions it says first of all i would definitely go to both of y'all's concerts save me a rose petal and a custom pair of headphones lol you already know and let me like Okay, let me just read. It says, my concert will be a very Beyonce inspired, but it will be a cheap production. Not gonna lie. My intro song entitled Hoes and Hot Sauce, which by the way, my mom really got a kicker out of that because I read her your comments on her and she fucking died. She thought that was the funniest shit. She was like trying to like figure out what the song was like. She was like, Hoes and Hot Sauce. Hoes. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, <laughs> and she was like popping it in the car and everything. It says, uh, would play in the background as I slowly rose from the pit of the state. I'm remembering like I was I was I was reading this. My mom was fucking laughing out loud. I was like, Mom, please listen to the rest of the concert. <laughs> um, you said, like for real, for a whole three minute song, I'ma just be rising and stuff while everybody's cheering. It's not even machine lifting me up, it's just two big men holding me up like a on a box or something with a giant hole in the stage. She also loved that too. She said she will be at your concert. Um, it says my concert would also include some aerodynamic shit. Like <laughs> this is like my favorite part. I'll get me some silk sheet scotch tape to throw on my waist. Scotch tape. Right, like, <laughs> scotch tape. I'll scotch tape them and then crowd serve like a with like a giant fan facing me. So like it seems like my hair and the sheets are just flowing in the wind. And the finale is going to be me inviding a bunch of fans on stage to help me sing my latest hit single, What Bitch Ate My Leftovers. And of That's course, you know she loved that I look. It says, bro, I ain't even going to have merch. It's going to be a, like Popeye's food truck back for the fans instead. And, but the biscuits are free because my fans matter. You're so Thank sweet. You. Look, Taylor was so pressed about I that. Was like, um, Bitch, I love Popeye's biscuits. That's <laughs> my favorite hangover food. And CK3 made a song. What would it be called and what genre would it fall under? And like what K-pop style rules would each of y'all be? Like who's the visual, the main dancer, the lead singer, the rapper, etc. So we talked about the we genre. Say what it would be called. No, we didn't talk about what it would be called. That's a good question. We should probably answer that next week. But I think the genre will be like a R&B type fusion mm-hmm. of like giddy boy things. Mm-hmm. And I told Taylor, but he wasn't on board for it. I'm thinking some country trap no. fusion at some point. Okay. Anyways, he's a hater. It's going to be that. <laughs> so the parts, everybody's roles. 
um taylor is going to be the lead singer because no i'm not yeah, look y'all no, miss it listen y'all even like people looking at me bro okay but look when what? your parts come up people have to close their eyes and their ears <laughs> i'm gonna be like primary i'm gonna put a box on my head do it <laughs> the reason i say that is because every time before we start recording literally when i'm like i'm about to start recording taylor starts singing some random ass shit <laughs> These fuckers are singing. Kiana can be main vocals. Kayla's the rapper, and I'm the lead runs. I'd be like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and I'd be doing cartwheels, so I could be like the main cartwheel bitch. The main cartwheel bitch. <laughs> That's like my exact title. You have to address me as what such. What do they fucking call that fucking, I don't know, gymnastics or like, what do they call that position? Main cartwheel bitch. No. That's my name. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I can't really think of anything else. What, um, what, what do you think TK3 song will be called? The yeah. name. Taylor, what do you think everybody's roles would be? Because that was my answer. What do you think? Or do you just agree? Um, mine is just basic. Like, me and oh, Kayla yeah. would be rappers. Okay. So yeah. Kiana will be singing. You will be visual and dancer. Oh my God. You think I'll be. I'm like going to cry. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Look, I'll cry. You guys know I cry. Taylor, please don't roll your eyes at me again. Don't. Do <laughs> Ew, stop. <laughs> I would fucking Dougie and I would jerk Ew. on stage. I would do the stanky leg. <laughs> do the crit walk. <laughs> yes, that's those are my dances. So I'm really honored that you said that. Thank you. I'm really like, I'm really going to cry about this, you guys. Um, Did you have any other questions, Taylor? No, that was, I think that was everything. Yeah. We hit it all. If we missed your que- your um comment, we're sorry. If we missed your question, we're also sorry. I think we answered them all, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we love you guys. We just ran over an hour. Oh. Yeah, but it's all right, because hopefully you guys listen. If you listened, comment. Um, What can they comment if we know that they got this far with something? Um, they will, They'll tell us what our song is called. Oh, yeah. What's that our song called? Yeah. Well, you can comment, hey, bitch, but say times two. That's how I know specifically he made it to the end. <laughs> All right, we love you guys. You know, um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with everybody that you know if you would like. And let I me mean, comment below what you guys want to know, what you think our song would be. Uh, what do you like, pancakes or waffles? Um, <laughs> Ask us some more questions. Definitely. We're always looking for some shit to talk about because we don't fucking know. We just wing it. Yeah, we just just like pancakes and waffles. Like, why the fuck would I ask that? Just because. It's a good question, though. It tells a lot about your personality. <laughs> <laughs> um, we love y'all. Have a great time. Time's not real. Um, my name is Ka- I'm getting what? my runs ready, Stop. bitch. Ew. My name Shannon. Did you guys <laughs> You guys know what the best song with all the runs is? Fucking um Yeah Oh, 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 oh. Fucking um Hot Times <laughs> Nigga Sudden is through there Nishing Dong Dong Who's your Ooh, if you listen all the way to the end, whose part is your favorite? Mine's is when John Ken sits in his chair and he's just like, Yeah and he, as if nothing is happening and he's just fucking killing everybody with the runs. So with with the runs. <laughs> I guess that's about it. Love y'all. Bye. I'm Carol. I'm kidding. Bye. We just split them lemons. We just we just split them lemons. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I like that. We should do that at the end of every. Oh, it's still recording. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Love you. <laughs>